As baby boomers grow older, more and more of their children will be forced to deal with the heartbreaking realities of Alzheimer's disease, forced to care for family members who lose precious memories, forced to worry about what might happen should they wander off and get lost. Well, now there's a company out of Florida that's offering a free microchip implant for Alzheimer's patients. It's to help emergency officials identify people who just really can't remember who they are anymore. Here's Phil Keating. Just like the microchips implanted in the necks of dogs and cats, allowing lost pets to be identified, this glass capsule can do the same for humans. In West Palm Beach, Florida, a hundred elderly men and women diagnosed with Alzheimer's are now walking around with microchips embedded under their skin. And more are on the waiting list. Alzheimer's Community Care offers this service for free. You've got a vulnerable person that is not always able to define what's wrong with them. And the, when you go into a, an emergency room, efficiency and effectiveness is the most important way of getting good treatment. Scott Silverman became one of the first to get the microchip injected into his arm, a miniature database with his name, address, and full medical history. His company, Verichip, has sold about 2,000 worldwide and is now working to get every hospital equipped with the proper scanning equipment. This technology is the only one out there in electronic medical record retrieval that is always guaranteed to be with a high-risk patient and provide their medical records at an emergency room situation. But not everybody likes this concept. Verichip won the approval of the Food and Drug Administration three years ago, but Antichips.com alleges the chips caused cancer in lab rats and make cattle out of humans. The notion of being trackable and taggable in that kind of a, a, a very creepy big brother way, I think gives most people the cold chills. Contacted by us, the FDA says it continues to monitor research done by Verichip as well as reports done about Verichip. But at this time, it stands by its approval, declaring there is no credible cause for concern about implanting these tiny microchips under your skin. In West Palm Beach, Florida, Phil Keating, Fox News.